This is the MyWorks lesson on subtraction. This lesson uses materials you probably already have at home. We've made it very simple. This lesson should be presented to a child who already understands the concept of numbers at least to 10, understands the concept of addition, then they can do the subtraction work. Here's what you'll need for the lesson. What you will need for the subtraction work are two small and shallow bowls. Two of them need to match and then one more shallow bowl that does not match. You will also need equations and what we've done here is we've just used our very famous spice jars that we use in so many different lessons and here is the one jar and inside the one jar is our equations, answers, and one bead. The purpose for this is as with every lesson, you want a control of error. Here's how you do the lesson. For the sake of repetition, we're gonna do the lesson for you using the six jar. Just because there's more equations than obviously the one jar will have. The one jar just has one minus zero and one minus one. The reason why, and I, I can't really stress this enough, and I know it seems like a lot of work, but I am not kidding you, Miss Lisa and I put this work together in all of 10 minutes. As long as you have, doesn't have to have a lid, just as long as you have separate containers, you can use Dixie cups, but you want to make sure that you have the proper number of beads, the proper number of equations, and the proper number of cut answers. Literally, we just used orange thick stock paper and cut them up and then make sure that you have the right number of answers because you want your child to feel that success. You want them and you're going to want it when you present it to them. The last thing you want is you're showing the lesson and you don't have the right materials. And children love being able to say, oh mom, I'm on the four jar already or I'm on the eight jar already. Let me show you how to do the subtraction work. So for the essence of time, we've taken out of our six jar, the equations will be on one side of the, of the work and the answers will be on the other. You will have one bowl. This means subtraction. This symbol means equals. You'll see why we have the two identical bowls on opposite sides, because we're isolating what we're taking away. We want that to feel very different to your child. The beads go here. Your first equation, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Take away or subtract zero. Zero means nothing. What's our answer? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six take away zero equals six. And the question and answer goes back up here. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's always important to show them to recount because sometimes if they, once you get into all of these other equations, sometimes six doesn't always end up at the beginning. So it's always important to count. Six, take away or subtract one. Take one equals one, two, three, four, five. Six, take away one equals five. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Take away two, one, Two.
equals 1, 2, 3, 4. 6, take away 2 equals 4. And one answer left. Kids, once they get the handle over, they're going to go, oh, I know the answer to that. And that's okay, but encourage them to go back to the process because what's magical about this lesson is how concrete it is. It's not rote memorization. Two, three, four, five, six, six. Take away five. One, two, three, four, five equals what's left. One. Six, take away five, equals one. The reason why it's really important to make sure that you recount your beads and you reiterate every part of the equation, to you and I it might seem almost, you feel impatient doing it, but to the child, that is how they're learning. They're watching everything we do. And by showing them each step over and over and over again, if they make an error, or if they don't have the right number of beads or answers, they'll be able to go back and correct the process because they'll remember, oh, I've got to count the six beads into the first jar first. Another thing you can do if your child is comfortable with writing their numbers and if they want to continue with this lesson, you can have a piece of paper that has a subtraction sign and an equal sign and a space to write their numbers and then they can write down what they've accomplished. It, it is by no means required nor is it necessary but if your child is looking for something more to do or if they're so proud and they want it hanging on the refrigerator by all means let them copy down the equations and it shows that they've completed the six drawer or the six jar and they can move on to seven. Enjoy subtraction.